Hello, Virgo viewers. So I'm going to be looking into your situation, seeing what's going on with your love life. Okay. So what is the situation? What's the current situation? Please be clear and direct. What is going on? Could be an ex, could be a new person, just however it resonates. What is going on with Virgos right now? Oh, that looks good. I have a kitty on my lap. <laughs> he needed attention. The star reversed, the hierophant reversed. The Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, ooh, hello. Two of Cups, yeah. Ten of Wands reversed, that's good, okay. Ten of Pentacles, so there's a lot of um, energy regarding like career, finances. I feel like there's something, there's, there's some way that like finances and career is tied to your love life right now. So it could be that you're meeting a coworker. It could also be that you're meeting somebody who's going to want to financially provide for you. Um, it could also be that you are, I'm going to look into the cards more, but it could also be that you are just financially successful and you're this go-getter and you're in this powerful energy. And so you are manifesting love because people are noticing just how strong and confident and powerful you are and how you're just so focused on your career or school or just your hobbies, just focused on yourself, focused on what you want. And it's really turning on the people around you. With the star and the Hierophant reversed here, I kind of feel like looking at the star reversed in this reading, I almost feel like it's saying like you were planting seeds, but you don't have to anymore. It's like you've already been planting those seeds for so long that you don't really have to plant the seeds anymore. Things are just finally starting to manifest for you. I mean, it's always good to plant more and more seeds. It's good to keep watering those plants, you know, but it's like you, you've done so much like you kind of got to the point where you're just over people telling you like, plant the seeds, plant the seeds, it'll come to fruition eventually. It's like, no, like you planted the seeds already years ago. They're manifesting now. With the Hierophant reversed, this could be um, regarding like social institutions, like school, like college or like career or finances or just hobbies or some type of like skills that you were working on, um, like working on like a certain skill set. Um, this could be like referencing out, out of the box thinking too. It might be like you were planting these seeds, but you were like doing it in the way that the, um, spiritual community told you to do it or the way that society told you to do it or institutions told you to do it. You know what I mean? It's like you're planting the seeds, but you're like doing things in a specific controlled way. And now you're like, you know what, I'm going to manifest things the way that feels natural to me. I'm going to ma make my life what I want it to be. I'm going to go against society and institutions and all that controlled energy. And I'm going to follow my own path. I'm going to make my life what I want it to be. I'm going to manifest my dreams in the way that, that works for me, you know. Like one example of this would be like in the new age community, it's very common for people to say like positive thinking only, positive vibes only, you know, like you can only manifest if you're positive all the time, but, but it's, it's not actually true. I mean, maybe for some people that, that works, but like for me, that's never worked, you know, like you have to find your own path. People that just think positive all the time end up like suppressing you know, their shadow side, they end up, you know, being out of balance. You know, I, I, I prefer to just let my emotions flow, whether they're good or bad. You know, it's, it's just energy, whether it's, you know, pain or anger or happiness or love or whatever. I just let things flow. I try to get into this like natural universal flow and I just let myself feel whatever I feel. Because if you fight against what you feel, it's like you're creating this internal war inside yourself and you're suppressing your emotions. You're suppressing the things that need healing. Like if you're in a lot of pain, there's a lot of pain coming up. It's coming up to be purged. It's coming up to be understood, to be healed, to be processed. You know what I mean? So you can move past it. 
But if you just suppress it and pretend like everything's just fine and just, you know, positive vibes only, you end up suppressing that pain and you, you it, it comes out later in uglier ways, you know, and you create this stagnant blocked energy. You know, you have to be true to yourself. You have to let your emotions flow. You have to balance the light and darkness. You know, there there is no light without darkness. You have to balance the two. You know, otherwise you end up out of balance and it's like your shadow side comes out in uglier ways, you know? It's like you you have to make sure neither side gets too gets out of control. You have to find that that healthy balance and just be your true self and let things flow naturally. And at least that's what's always worked for me when it comes to manifesting. Like positive thinking never manifested anything for me. I always manifested the most when I was just living my life, just being in the moment, just allowing myself to feel whatever I felt, just letting things flow naturally, letting go of control issues, you know, it just opened me up to like just let things flow to me. Um, and so, so yeah, not to get too much into that, but that's kind of the energy I get from this, this group right here. It's like you are manifesting in a certain way, but now you're kind of going on your own path. You're, you're realizing what works for you and what doesn't. But whatever it is, you, you are in a, a time of potent manifestation right now. Um, you know, it's like, I just see it like the star reversed. It's like you just, you don't, you planted the seeds already. So whatever it was, it's like you put that energy in and now it's finally coming to fruition. With the three of pentacles here, it's like, it's creativity. It's, it's standing your ground. It's also teamwork. So I'm kind of wondering if some of you do actually have somebody coming in. That's either like a teacher or a guide, but it's going to turn romantic. Or it could be somebody who's actually financially supporting you, or it could be a coworker. So it's just one of those, it's just, there's love connected to finances. So it's that kind of energy. For a lot of you, it does feel like a financial provider. You know, it could also be that, like, your creativity is, is attracting this person. Your king of wands, that's somebody who's charismatic and passionate, and they just, they know who they are. They know what they want. Um, they, they are very passionate about life. They're very independent. Or at least this energy feels very independent, very uh, charismatic. And yeah, this, maybe this person is somebody that's just taking notice of you. They see that you're creative. They see that you're a go-getter. They see that you're making your, your own path. And so they're coming after you. They're, they're want to, wanting to pursue you and give you this, this love offer, this, this healthy, stable relationship. You know, they want, it's like a, they want their, their partner in crime. They want their other half. They want, they want to be like a part of a power couple. I feel they want that with you. Um, and, and so they, yeah, they're coming in and I see that they're going to be helping you financially. So whether it's, again, it's going to be, there's a couple different stories I'm channeling here for, so, so for some of them, they, this person is financially abundant and they're just going to straight up financially support you for others. This could be like a coworker or somebody at work, but they're going to be supporting you, um, to pursue your dreams and they might be helping you, like maybe helping you with childcare or helping you like, if you're going to school, maybe just helping, like, maybe maybe if you guys move in together, they're going to pay half of the rent. Or there's just something connected to finances where they're going to kind of encourage you to pursue your dreams. Um, whatever the specific case might be, it's like you've been independent and strong for so long and you've had the weight of the world on your shoulders. But with the Ten of Wands reversed, you don't have that weight on the... When this love offer comes in, when this person, this this, you know, charming, passionate, strong... Um, very masculine energy comes in or feminine energy, however it plays out. But when this energy comes in, this person, it, it's like with the 10 of wands reversed, it's, they take a lot of the burden off you, you know, that you having to be strong and independent and do it all on your own. Like they're going to carry some of that weight for you. So there's going to be more of a balance. And it's interesting. You go right from the 10 of wands to the 10 of pentacles, you know, financial abundance, success, wealth, you know, financial stability, um, pursuing your dreams and being successful, whether it's college or career or just new life skills that you're pursuing. Um, it's showing that you're going to be successful with those that, you know, you're, you're going to have it. You're going to be able to have it all. Basically. Can I get some more info on the King of Wands? Show me this person. What's this person all about?
Reminder, Grove, and Conclusion. Yeah, it's just, he's... I think he's reminding you of your... I feel like this person is a very strong supporter. Like, he's really going to be supporting you. Um, pers again, pursuing either he's going to offer financial support or he's going to put you... Or he's going to offer you emotional and mental support to pursue your dreams, which is in turn going to help you financially because you're going to have that... Um, just that emotional support system. So it's going to make it easier for you to make money or for you to, you know, succeed, like graduating or doing whatever it is that you're doing right now. Um, so yeah, he's a very strong supporter. It's a, it's a strong supportive energy. He's going to remind you of your worth and your beauty and your strength. You know, he's going to be, it's like somebody who's like a solid rock for you. Um, and he's, I think you're going to be each other's safe space. You know, it's like, you're going to be able to rest. He's going to let you be in your feminine energy. It's like, you're not going to have to be strong and independent all the time. You're going to be able to be like soft and just take off some of the, that, that weight finally. And you're going to be ending this chapter where you've just had to survive and do it all on your own. So that's a really good energy we're getting here. Um, if you are in a situation where he is actually, he or she is, is actually financially supporting you, I just want to make sure, make sure they're not controlling you though, because there could be a select couple of you where it's like, they're strong and they're solid, but they have like a very dominant energy, which is, is, can be really good. That's kind of, that's a turn on when a man is like willing to take control like that, but make sure that they're not using finances to control you. Make sure that you're still free, you know what I mean? That you still have your freedom. Just a warning for a couple of select of you. Uh, let me see what else I can get. What what other messages do we have regarding this reading? What's the what's the final message here? Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Tower, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. I do just want to say I think I don't know if it was the last reading or the reading before that. I got this energy of like you letting go of a fuck boy or a fuck girl or just somebody that was like abusive or manipulative or just kind of holding you back, just like a bad energy. I want to just put that out there that that's not this person. This is probably somebody new for the majority of you. Or it could be, like I said, like a coworker who's been kind of observing you and they're just, they're turned on by you and they're wanting to come forward with this love offer, maybe ask you out on a date. Um, but I sense that for most of you, this is a new person. So Please don't get that confused. Like, it's not the fuck boy or the, the toxic person that you have been letting go of the past few months. That's It's not. This is somebody new. This is this is a new person coming in that you've manifested. Um, or somebody that you know. Like I said, some, maybe somebody that you know that's been watching you and they're about to come forward. But this isn't. This is. This seems like a good energy. Um, well, for most of you. I think for a couple of you, there's that potential of them getting controlling or too dominant with their money so you might want to have like a balance like set boundaries with them but overall like for the majority of you I feel like this king of wands is somebody who's passionate and strong and knows what they want so so overall it's a good energy but yeah I, th I think most for most of you it's a new person so please don't think that please don't think we're talking about the the fuck boy from the past it's not him not him <laughs> he's out he's he needs to stay out <laughs> He needs to stay out of my readings. <laughs> Don't like his energy. Um, but yeah, anyway, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like this person might be coming in quick with a love offer. It might kind of shake things up. But I think you're going to be open to it. With the Queen of Swords, it's like that's kind of how they see you. They see you as somebody who's strong and confident and logical and powerful. Um, somebody who knows what they want somebody who's just in their power, somebody who's, um, they're equal, you know, somebody who's like, who's a go-getter like them, somebody who's, they, they see the potential in you to be a, a power couple with you, basically. And, you know, they see that you guys could support each other and balance each other out and help each other fulfill, fulfill each other's dreams. Um, so yeah, they see you as this queen of swords energy so that they know that they have to step up. They know that, they know you're not going to be wooed easily. They know that you're not one of these, like, little girls that, that gets, you know, wooed by whoever brings her roses, you know? Like, they know that you're somebody who's going to have to, they're going to have to step their game up for you, but they like it. They're, they're, they're like, 
it's like a dominant kind of energy, like an alpha male type energy that I get here. So they like that they have to step up for you. They like that you keep them on their toes. They like that they're going to have to better themselves to really match your energy. They like that challenge. They like how you're just, you're seductive. You're just drawing them in. They really like that energy. So with the Ace of Cups right here, I do see them making some kind of love offer, maybe asking you out on a date, um, complimenting you, admiring you, just they think you're a badass, basically. Uh, with the tower, I think this is going to shake things up for you. I think this is going to be kind of unexpected. This might be somebody who's been watching you that you weren't even aware of. Or it might be somebody that you just meet, like just like a faded encounter, like you go out somewhere and you just hit it off with this person and like they just love your energy um, and they ask you out and you might be kind of shocked, like you might not expect it. So I think it's going to come shake everything up, especially if you have been holding on to the fuck boy or an ex or anybody that's just like kind of just leechy or just dragging you down. I think the tower is coming in to shake that person out of your life so you can be with your actual like somebody who is a go-getter, somebody who's strong and passionate and courageous like you are, somebody who's going to match your energy, you know what I mean? So that tower is coming in quick to, um, to yeah, it's just going to shake things up. It's going to be kind of a surprise, I think, for you guys. Uh, and that's what I'm getting at least, you know, that's what I'm feeling is that you're not going to expect this connection whether it's like them asking you out or you're just I don't know it's like you're just going to find yourself in this connection that you didn't maybe you didn't expect to have right now or you're finding yourself in the middle of it now it's that kind of energy with the knight of cups though I think they're gonna you're gonna be open to it you know there's you're gonna be following your heart there's this love offer there's this this really um good potential here so anyway that's what I got let me know if it you know, if this is your story, please go ahead and subscribe, share, like, and if you want a private reading, my email address is below. Thank you.